good day to the organizer of the conference, to the moderator, and the fellow uh, presenters for this session today. My name is Teddy Marusoikun. I am from the Academy of Art and Creative Technology, University of Malaysia Sabah. The title of my paper today is User-Centered Design, UCD Approach in Food Logo Design Practice. Um, this research aims to understand the combination of user-centered design or UCD and design principles in logo design. Based on a concept in engineering approach, the author will use the design dimension which is attractiveness. To reach the design dimension, logos are investigated on their influence on consumer response. The word is usually subjective, hence to advance the understanding of attractiveness in logo design, one of the methods that we use in this uh, research is uh, VIW or Viewers Impression Words, a modification of Kansai words, usually found in Kansai engineering. This method will combine formalistic and visual semiotic analysis theory to achieve the Viewers impressions Words or VIW. Uh, UCD presents a combination of quantitative and qualitative methodologies and is used to achieve those principles to help designers understand the factors of an attractive logo. This is actually a, a suggested as a new technique to improve the process of emotion engineering. To define attractiveness. Okay, logo design choices might look unimportant to some people and some do not put much effort in finding the right design to rep represent their establishment. The design field, attractiveness, often misinterpreted and is perplexed principles to be defined. Attractiveness has also been regarded as a personal likeness and a subjective perspective. There is also no known method to achieve attractiveness. Okay. And student designer design according to their gut feeling. The research objective, okay, to, it is actually to propose a method to measure attractiveness factors embedded in existing successful food-based logo design using UCD approach or Kansai engineering. This hypothesis, the specific attractiveness factors can be the major driving influence that makes logo design successful and the emotion engineering method can be incorporated through viewer impressions in determining the, the attractive factors. Emotion engineering can be adopted in finding logo design attractive factors by assessing viewers impression and lastly the research data can be formulated as new loose principles to assist new designers or student designers. Based on the research, research objectives, firstly, the study can achieve a method to measure attractiveness through views impressions in existing successful logo design. So that is the significance of the study. Research scope and limitation. The research limits itself to investigating attractiveness embedded in a selected logo design domain only through audience impression. Limited literature exists on logo design or cancer engineering. As such, citations are mainly based on interface design. The research also focuses on audience impressions on successful logo design only. The selected logo design will be separated into specific parts or 10 design elements focused on logo design parts at or anatomy of a logo to enable evaluations through principles of design and historic theory. Literature reviews. Logo design choices sometimes look unimportant to some. However, getting the design on point is important for a number of reasons. According to Lafarelli, 2019, a well-designed logo will offer significant benefits to establishments as well as a well-designed logo will also help to boost interest of customers, distinguish brands from the competitors help to facilitate brand recognition, convey information about the brand and also influence investors' decision. 
it is also a communication tool that in that is that establishments use and appear in company products such as websites business cards and etc it is an element that consumers will always see so that is uh, part of the literature reviews that will be presented okay what is uh, ucd and also cancer engineering okay UCD or user-centered design can be associated with cancer engineering. According to Almago and Martora, cancer engineering is, it incorporates emotion in products and design services. It also discovers how the properties of a product or service convey certain emotion in its users. In the KE method, the engineers get data by using specially devised questionnaires. So the methodology that is used in this research is um, a mixed method style, which it combines qualitative and quantitative. The research explore KE method to find potential path in understanding attractiveness in logo design. The procedure, procedure provides a systematic platform for reaching the aim of this research. This is the methodology that is used. So the methodology, there are four parts of the method that, that are used and are, are taken from the KE method approach. So um, it will start with first phase, which is the, the collection of uh, well-known food logo samples. And what's used, uh, and it was used uh, in, uh, sorry, Q, uh, QCA was used in this uh, analysis to identify uh, initial specimens with control condition, the logo designs after it was collected. And then the second phase is formalistic and visual uh, semantics analysis. This specimens analysis is in the form of questionnaires and was given to designers and, and uh, and the theories that were used in this in this phase is formalistic elements and principle of design and also visual semantics emotion that covers emotion moral intuition and also culture the elements of logo design that they use and are sourced from power Socks 2017 the elements of logo design we can put it here as appearance simplicity memorable, flexible, color appropriate, timeless, unique, quality, typography, meaningful, and vectorized. The item category that you can see on the right side is meant for the calculation in cancer engineering. Uh, it will be calculated using the PLS, or partial least square. So this is the semantic uh, differential questionnaires uh, are sourced from the formalistic and visual semantic, semantic analysis, which the research called as FBSA. So these are the logos that are, are used in the uh, SD scale questionnaires. Okay, so this is the FBSA, and the words are taken, uh, are selected by participants, and then the research data analysis and also the measurement of the procedure the appeal measurement procedures are the paper checklist or sd scale also undergone reliability analysis using Cronbach alpha uh, which score higher than benchmark value of 0 0.7 to authenticate the reliability normal classroom setup was used Okay, the procedure procedure was conducted separately for each session. A briefing was done on the questionnaire uh, filling procedures. Thirty logo designs were displayed one by one together with the paper checklist, and check test subjects were asked to rate the impression according to the SD scale. And raw data were put in SPSS computed to determine a mean and average response. So this is the SD scale. Uh, form SD scale form uh, yes this is the SD scale form 
PLS uh, analysis, the relation between the view impressions words, evaluation and design elements were analyzed with partial least square. In PLS calculation, the evaluation values on a viewer's impression words where W word are assigned to Y or dependent variables and design elements are assigned to X or independent variables with dummy variables. The qualitative variables such as legibility is called item. The variation of the items such as white, blue or red are called uh, categories. Categories are expressed with dummy variables with one or zero values. This is the partial least squares analysis, analysis uh, calculation. Proposing attractiveness uh, uh, loose principles, right? So this study has allowed on an effort to develop attractiveness loose principle. Consider engineering approach recommend uh, focusing on a specific domain when executing the consent survey as different traits will generate ambiguity in the analysis. The analysis from FA, factor analysis, and also PLS or partial least square has enabled the research to devise a requirement to design attractive logo design trait. The logo design traits used in the loose principles were the ones that have strong attractive influences. The loose principles requires designers to select factors that suggest cut shape or also emotion that influence them to make an attractive logo design. The design requirements that were included in the proposed loose principles were from the design elements that have the strongest influence in invoking target logo design that have attractiveness. Attractiveness factors to loose principles. So from the correlation coefficients uh, calculation for appearance score, okay, all the all the variables that have a strong coefficient score will be selected as uh, the attractiveness factor. Okay. So the one that was selected for appearance is bold, balanced, smooth, texture, and strong. This is based on the calculation. Findings. Objective one, achieve the method of measuring appealing factors by uh, combining several art theories such as QCA, uh, formalistic, and visual semiotic. semiotic. Understanding the attractive, uh, attractiveness factors in existing logo design enabled uh, creating a new loose principle to create a new logo using the selected uh, viewer's in impression words. Objective 2, it can be seen that the attractiveness usage of principles and design theory in the creation of logo design influence viewers impression it can be said that to have a more attractive logo design is that a designer needs to understand the attractiveness factors together with the principles of design and design knowledge hence it leads to a more successful logo design seen in experimental research and the findings number three it can be established that emotion engineering methods are capable of capturing and at the same time quantify viewers impression the domain area which is the famous a logo design and produce loose attractiveness principles through the quantification of fancy words or VIW obtained from expert opinions and viewers impression. Research implication, the method actually was foreign and unheard of in the art and design world because design education was taught more on the designer staff side. Emotion en engineering or UCD can be added up in design education to understand users explicit and implicit views on the art and design product, especially on non-tangible products such as graphic design, animations, and also video. This may contribute to the design philosophy of UCD, especially in viewers' involvement in logo design work and also design flow. The emotion engineering approach in this research introduced introduce the use of FBSA analysis and the combination of Gestalt theory in the design elements analysis section. This research suggested that to analyze non-tangible products such as logos, each design elements could be divided according to Gestalt theory. The design elements could be calculated in such a way for better understanding. Hence, it could be considered as a benchmark for, revised, for a revised method in analyzing
analyzing using the emotion engineering approach. So that's the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for your time.